Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Prepware Online to study for your credential exam. We're going to start by signing in at ogs.asa2fly.com by clicking the sign in button and entering our credentials. you'll enter your own credentials there. All right, when we sign in, we've already entered our activation key, so here's the content that we have access to. You can start right here on this page, but first I'm going to walk you through what you'll find in the uh, in the menu up above. If you click home, you'll come right to where we are here for test. Once you're ready to take your credential test, this is where you'll do that from. You can also look at test instructions. And you can also take a look at how to find an FAA testing center when the time comes for you later. Under study, we can open the existing study session that you've saved. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. We can look at a study guide. You'll recognize these 12 topics from your Choose Aerospace experience. If you click on these, this will actually give you uh, information on uh, the oral questions which you'll face when you actually go up for your certification with the FAA. So that's a part of the testing process. We're not going to do that here but it is very good to look at. We also have preparation. This gives you lots of tips and tricks on how to take the test uh, and lots of information on all the different types of knowledge exams that are available through the FAA. Then when we go to tools you can take a look at your performance history. Once you've created tests, you can take a look at them here. I did one and I just answered one question and then submitted just so I could see what it looked like. So hopefully your score will be better than 1.67%. If you wanted to get rid of something like that, you can come in here and hit delete, say OK, and now it's gone. Let's see what else. We have Quizmaker. This is where you can come in and make your own quizzes to study. This is going to be very key for you to pass your credential exam that you've spent some time in this studying and getting ready for it. You see we have the quiz is the general content. You can pick any of the chapters that you've studied in Choose Aerospace. Again, these titles should all look very familiar. Let's look at aircraft drawings. This tells me there's 59 possible questions, and it's listing 1 through 30 of those questions right now. When you take your credential exam, you'll be getting a random sample of these questions from this test bed. So if you wanted to add a question, you just click Add to Quiz, Add to Quiz, Add to Quiz, and you can look at your quiz preview over here. This is what the test environment looks like. So you've got question numbers, and then there may be figures that you refer to in a question. If you need to do that, you just click here. It opens up a new tab in your browser and it gives you the drawing. It's multiple choice, so you select the best answer. I'm just take a random guess. I'm not even reading the question. And then I'm going to say next. So let's just do that. We only have three questions. It's not too hard. I'm just going to go A, B, and C. Go to next. All right. So that's what those all look like. Now, I haven't actually taken the test. I'm just building it. So we're going to go up here and we can save it as a quiz or we can save it as a study session. Let's save that as a study session. Maybe you want to study just those questions in particular. You can call it my custom study session or you can rename it however you like. And you hit save study session. Now when you come back to study and you say open the existing study session, there it is, my custom study session. So if you've got some questions that are particularly stumping you, you can create your own test for those, save them as a study session, and then just drill those questions. It's very handy and very powerful. Let's go back. Oh, I guess I should show you. Uh, any other tools? Um, you can create your own questions if you want to, uh, or there are some f features here that uh, aren't really uh, anything that we're going to be using like uh, request endorsement that's if you're working towards your private pilot or uh, a student pilot endorsement or that sort of thing uh, you can play around with these if you want and then inside of school you've got student tools uh, later on you'll be following an instructor at choose aerospace when you're ready for your exam 
we're not going to worry about that right now. And instructor tools you don't have access to and admin tools you also do not have access to. And then there's help where you can go with pre prepware instructions. You can look at the license agreement and a bunch of other things. Let's go back to home and say you just want to take a quick uh, study session. You can go study. Now this lists all the 12 subject areas and tells you how many available questions there are in each section. If you like, you can number, you can say, give me oh, 10 electricity and 20 of these, etc., all the way through. And then you can hit create study session. So now, oops, now I'm going to take this uh, sample test as a study session. I've selected 30 questions. There they are. I can bounce back and forth. See, so we're at question eight. We're now at question five. You answer them. And then you can, uh, as you're studying, you can say, let's see, I'm just going to take a random guess that that's A. That's wrong. B, nope, it's C. But this is very handy. It'll tell you if you've got it right or not, because this is just a study session. We're not doing a quiz. And then it will give you, this is very handy, the explanation for why that is the right answer. So if you're stuck on something and it doesn't make sense to you, here it is right here for you. You just have to go down and take a look and it will walk you through that. So it's got a built-in tutoring system for you right there. So this is how you're going to use prepware online as your way to study for your credential exam. If you have any questions, you can ask your instructor or your teacher and they will help you.